All right, so I um, already poured my epoxy in my little measuring cup here. And I use Amazing Clear Cast. So how much I put in there? I put about a good, say about 10 and a half. About ten and a half. So, um, cause when it thickens, you're gonna see why. Actually, I usually put about a good twenty, about twenty in there. But I'm not doing the lid. I'm just showing y'all around the rim of the cup first. Um, so right now, the purpose of this part of the video is to show y'all what I use. Let me fix my camera, cause I eventually ended up having to do my own my own thing <laughs> so um this is what i use it's coffee and i just pour it now you don't have to wait until the epoxy settle i would rather everything settle together four five six Usually let about six, anywhere between six to eight, depending on, you know, how you feel the color is. I always put one drop to two, one or two drops. But because I'm only doing ten and a half, I'll probably just stick with that one drop right there. Let's just see. Because you got to stir it up and be comfortable with the color that you want. You have to. You don't want to overdo it. And, like, your epoxy will take forever to dry because it's got too much ink in it get up above the wall so to me this color is fine so six drops of the coffee that I use you can use just brown dark brown I use the coffee because you don't have to use so much of the black. With the black, you kind of darken up this coffee a little bit. Even though the coffee is dark, it still needs a little help. I said it pretty slow, y'all. Get up off those walls. Just always check and see if you're okay. With the color. <laughs> so, and then when it thicken up, man, it's, it's a totally different type of, like, I can't explain. <laughs> okay, so right now you got that dark color. And to be honest, if you want to add like one more splash of the black, you could. So one more splash. You don't want to do too much of the splash. Mm -hmm. Like I said, that black, it does something to it and it give it more of a, like a dark chocolate. Uh-uh. Yeah. All right, so I like this color because I don't want to see through my epoxy. I don't want to see through it. And so you just let this sit, sit for a long time. I'll come back and I'll show you the texture that I'm going for, the consistency, I guess. You know, everybody use that word. I'll show y'all that when I get back. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I got it to where I needed to be. 
Okay? Here we go. Because you got to hurry up and work with this. This is the texture that you want, the consistency of it. This is what you want. So, don't mind the stringing this, y'all. It's all going to come together. But you want to hurry up because you know epoxy do dry. When it, once it hit that, that really thick peak, y'all know. So you just make a mess with it. Just make a mess with it. For right now. Gonna be real stringy looking. But trust me, everything is fixing to come together. So you see how messy that look? All right, let's go into details. I'm just creating my own drops. Just pulling some down. I might need to change, um, turn the camera around it's a mess y'all but trust me this is exactly what I did That's why I said it's not easy. I let this sit a little too long because I was so busy yelling at my kids, y'all, because they had my house looking a hot. I'm sure y'all could hear them in the background. But one thing I do love about the Pisces is that it does eventually come together and do its own thing. Like, it's going to look like a really, really, really terrible hot mess. But you gotta let it do what it do. And after you do this, just put a little heat on it to kind of, you know, loosen it up a little bit. Right now, you don't want perfection. You just want to draw some, um, you just want to draw some, some drips. So you're basically trying to draw it with your, um, you know, your little, whatever it is that you put it on here with. But you got to try to move fast. Just draw. It looks crazy. But it's going to turn into a beautiful disaster. Because, you know, a posse allow you to do, you know, what you need to do for a certain amount of time. And... Yeah, I don't want it to be extra thick in certain areas. Loosen that up some. Yep. I want this to be a little bit longer. You can always fix a messy situation. Just draw. That's basically what I do. I just draw what I want. You see how messy that look? Terrible. It looks terrible, right? <sighs> Pull the heat to it.
really situation. See that? And then you just kind of, you got to keep your eyes on it, y'all. I'm telling you. It's going to turn into a beautiful, drippy situation. You don't have to worry about the edges that, um, you know, this turning white. I mean, you could if you want to. It's up to you if you want to be that extra. But, you know, that there are times where I was extra. <laughs> and then I just go back and forth. All right, y'all. I'll be back when it dry.